Hello, Mathematical Literacy Learners. As promised, we are starting with finance. I want to jump right in and start with income tax. Let's just get started. So we're going to start with terminology, words that are very important to know when you are learning the ins and outs of um, income tax for your exams. First place is the income tax we are talking about, of course, is for individuals. And therefore, we need to know that there is an employee and an employer. This will also help us when we are talking about UIF, where 1% is paid by an employee and the other 1% is paid by an employer. Don't worry about that. It will be covered in the UIF topic. So what is an employee and what is an employer? Think of it this way. Sipo has a business and he needs to hire a personal assistant, right? And therefore, he gets John to work for him as a personal assistant. Now, Sipo, who has a business, hires John to be his personal assistant. Therefore, Sipo is the employer. And... John, who then works for Sipo and helps the business that Sipo owns, is an employee. Get it? Employer, employee. So if you are an employee at a business, you are somebody that works there. If you are an employer, you are the person who's hiring, right? Okay, you are the person who actually pays the salaries. Right, so let's get to the next terminologies. So we're going to look at gross income, deductions, and net pay. Okay, so before we look at those, there's a word that, uh, there's a term that I need to, uh, for us to know, which is pay slip. Okay, I'm going to say it again. Pay slip. So a pay slip, also known as a salary advice. It goes with by so many names, but for now, let's just stick to pay sleep or salary advice, okay? Um, in, this, in this document, which is your income document, you will find terms like gross income, deductions, and net pay. The reason I want us to learn these words first is because in income tax, there are other deductions and there are other types of income that come into play that can get very confused with net pay and, and these deductions. So let's, let's know these deductions first. Okay. So we have gross income, which is the total income of an individual. Right, so it's a total income of an individual before deductions. So before they deduct anything from your employer, that is your gross. Whatever you have earned that month, be it including overtime, allowances, everything like that, that is your gross income, right? So we have a term called gross income, which is everything you've earned that month or everything you've earned that year right and then all of this is before deductions then we have deductions which is the money that is taken away or is deducted from your employer it's your money it's deducted to pay all the things that you need to pay such as tax remember you know, employer doesn't give you your money and then you go and you pay tax. It doesn't work like that. The, the SARS goes to your employer and takes the tax from your employer before you receive the rest of your income, right? So everything that's deducted there, and then you can have other things as well deducted besides tax. And then once they're deducted, then we calculate what is your gross minus deductions will give you your net pay. So that's the amount that you are actually going to get. Let's say uh, you earn 20,000 rand and eventually all the deductions amount to 4,700. What happens is you're not really going to earn 20,000 rand. You're going to earn 20,000 minus 4,600, right? Which will be then your net pay. So net pay, you can calculate, right? So there's a formula for it. We take your gross income, you subtract all your deductions, and you get your net pay. Now, remember we said net pay is the money that's actually going to hit your bank account. 
So we are now going to take a look at the pay slip. Okay, so we're going to take a look at the pay slip. And in the pay slip, we're going to find more words such as the basic income. Can you see that there? Basic income. So that is the amount that you and your employer are going to agree upon that you're going to get every single month if you get paid per month. So you agree upon that amount. And if you look at this one, it's 10,000, right? So they agreed that every single month, no matter what happens, she's going to get 10,000 rand. And then... We have other things that are added to her income, which is incentive, house rent allowance, and meal allowance. And eventually, she earns 11,600 is her total. This 11,600, since it's the total of all her income, is actually called gross income. Right, so we are look, also going to look at the deductions. We have the deductions that are taken away. Um, first of all, provident fund. What is provident fund? You actually know what provident fund is. It's actually <laughs> pension, right? Why is it called provident fund? Private sector. Then we have um, professional tax or, in, or income tax, as you may know it. And then we have loan. So she has a, a loan that she pays through her employer. I don't know if that's still allowed in South Africa anymore. But um, yeah, in this particular payslip, let's just focus on what's on this particular payslip. And then um, we have total deductions. Then we have net pay. Again, our net pay will be 11,600 rand, which is gross income, minus uh, total deductions, which is then going to give us 9,500 rand, which is our net pay. The money that is going to go into the bank account. So we are going to do a little exercise where you test yourself. Just pause the video and answer the few questions. But before you do that, I am going to explain some of the questions to you. For example, this question says, show how Sally's gross salary of 11,600 rand was calculated. We've already been given the gross salary and they want us to show how it was calculated. Remember, before you calculate it, anything you've got to ask yourself what is the definition of what they are asking for and gross gross salary or gross income is the total income for the person whether it's a month or annual in this case we're just not talking about annual yet and then um show how sell is net pay of 9500 rand was calculated this too we already have the net pay so you have to remember what is net pay and then you calculate it and come up with this answer it's supposed to be 9500 rand and then you've shown how it's calculated um basically when you say when they say show how something is calculated they mean go back and do it yourself but here's the answer right okay so calculate sell is annual gross income here, they want you to calculate the annual gross income since this one is a monthly income. The 11,600 rand is a gross income, but is, it is a monthly income. And now they want the year. Annual and yearly is the same thing. It's not about getting the answers correct. It's about familiarizing yourself with the content and um, the calculations itself and how some questions are asked so you don't need to get everything correct it's not about that in fact i say i don't care about the ones you got right i care about the ones you got wrong because then you go you get to go back and say oh what was it why did i get it wrong how is it done right so yeah um we end our session here today 